won the title in 2012 and again in 2014 was a losing finalist in the interim year in 2013. Some fantastic wins there. Losing out to Simona Hart four in the third. That was quite a match. Yeah, Up to full volume during that exchange. Sharapova off the mark, texting open. Nothing to offer so far. Oh, what a strike from Maria Sharapova. some fine tennis at the moment Maria Sharapova because she was uh, out with that suspension <laughs> sends down an ace to continue her path through this rally of the match and she put herself in the right spot Sharapova is having to raise her game Nice. Weak, but it's just regained her strength. Too good. It's just big blows. Just threaded it through the channel. Not a bad point from Hogan Camp. It's the right sort of tactic. Forcing Sharp over to come up with the pass, but she found it beautifully. Great improvisation here. Amazing to think she hasn't she hasn't played here since 2015 and hadn't missed a role on Garros before that since she first debuted in 2003 at just 16 years old. Well that's uh, got the treatment. The ace takes Maria Sharapova to set point. And an unreturned serve finishes it off. Very efficient, ruthless set. 24 minutes. The number 28 seed. Hogan Camp serving love 50.
brutal, isn't it, at times from Sharapova. Down, Sharapova has chucks it up really high. Got to find a way to get that ball landing at least a meter from the baseline. And that's going out. Shane. She did everything I asked her to do. They got brilliant depth in the first. <laughs> Drop shot's just been so effective. <laughs> Hogan can again. Just Michelle Hogan can, but she's not giving them much to get excited about. And Sharapova is able to produce little moments of magic. Oh, she's moving really well, isn't she? Even on the clay court. She just yeah, knows she's going to get the ball, wills herself just to get a racket underneath it. First poor drop shot we've seen from Sharapova. Yeah, well played, Hogan Camp. Kept up the pressure. Long legs get her across the court pretty quickly. Really do with a penetrative first serve here. Yeah, well played. That's exactly what she got. Followed it up with a backhand winner. Super whip from Hogan Camp. Excellent hitting, forcing Sharap over. <laughs> and just unable to do quite enough with that forehand. She was under. have really got behind the Dutch player. Big, so many times. Okay, serving for a 5 3 lead.
perfect. James Orr, Jiggle. Two, three, and four. Back to Suzanne Longland. Well, there's a resurgent Rochelle Hogan camp enjoying some excellent tennis at the moment. Out. She won't back off. She never does. Oh, slip up for Maria Sharapova and a little bit of good fortune for Rachel Hogan Camp. Two aces in the game. She's got it done. What a performance from the Dutch player. She's leveled the match. It's one set all. I don't think anybody saw that coming. But there will be a deciding set here. The drop shot has been a friend to Richelle Hogan Camp. Positioned herself. A point. 23. They are going through the roof. There was not many in the first set. <laughs> Sharapova's decibel. As we saw in the first set here, she's very good at getting the scoreboard ticking over. First ace from Hogan Camp. Oh, she's overcooked that. It was an open court, Sharapova made the wrong choice. That's a must-win game this, isn't it, for Sharapova. How quickly things have changed here. Shot against Sharpova, getting him moving. Yeah. See, so there it is again. It's not the world's best drop shot, but it doesn't need to be against Sharapova. So, I guess if you're Sharapova, you've got to keep Hogan Camp pushed deep behind a baseline so she can't. A lovely shot, and we all know she's not quite the same Sharapova compared to a good year and a half. Ah! 
It's a lovely little backhand. So, what are you expecting to see from Sunil Toma? I think it'd be a great effort. Sharapova read that one a little earlier. Better movement. And of course, if you want to get across Serena's match, it'll be on yours. Well, she read it and would have hoped to have done a little better. Always been a fabulous shot maker, though. Now this one, Chris, is it game over? Certainly not. I think they're still, you know, got to take. It's a lovely shot. Shortened the swing. A good example there with the forehand. Still yes, kind yeah. of in that hit zone, isn't it? Yeah, Chapeau had to move a little bit, but that was a good opportunity. It's a better little drop shot, but Sharapova goes cross court most of the time. That would be the one to cover there. No problems with the ball tosses. Oh, what a return. I think slightly fortunate the serve did just skid off. Yeah, it's all Sharapova now. She's really got the bit between her teeth. 4-3 lead. Always oh, one of her favourite shots. When you give her time, she can hurt you off both wings. That's a wonderful slice backhand, really nice that one. Again, it's that. Like Two-shot combination. Again, Chapura hardly moving and then just dictating from side to side. The girls will be playing her, respect to her, you know, too much respect to her, we'll get a little edgy. Has that been the case here? It has been the case, yes. The three love holding camp, you would have thought, was going to run away with it. More like it. We saw plenty of that to the end of the second and the start of the third. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. It's a good effort. Neutrals will be disappointed that Hogan can couldn't keep that up in the third set when she had the lead, but it was a good response from Sharpova. Response of a champion, no doubt about that. Digging deep, finding a way to get it done, even though she wasn't playing her best tennis prior to that. And she's safely through to the second round.
Mesdames et messieurs, vous allez...